Hey guys, Andy here, and I didn't think I'd be making another video on this channel so soon. I figured it was going to be months down the way before I picked up the camera again to talk about some things, but here we are once again on the cell phone, and I just want to talk to you guys about the features of this channel as well as the Andy Japani channel. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Oh, great. He's going to come back to YouTube and it's going to be the same shit all over again, right? Well, the truth is, I've thought a lot about me giving up on those two channels. And I've had some time to really think about it. And I've decided to leave the door open for me to make videos on those channels but with a caveat that it's not going to be under any sort of regular schedule not that i had one to begin with but i want to make videos not because i have to because oh it's been a week it's been two weeks it's been a month it's been two months so i better crank out a video right I don't want to make videos because I have to. I want to make videos because I choose to. So, just to recap, I'm going to be keeping the door open to making videos for this channel as well as the Andy Japan channel. But it's not going to be any sort of regular schedule, basically. So, if you guys are okay with that, then I'd appreciate it if you... Did all the YouTube shtick that every YouTuber has to say. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos eventually, right? So, I also want to talk about um, just the outpouring of comments, both good and bad, about my leaving those channels. And we'll get to the good stuff first, because I... I talk so much about the bad stuff that I really don't give enough credit to the positive influences in my comment section that are there through thick and thin. And I, I can't thank you guys enough. You know, you guys are the reason that I want to continue making videos. And you're the reason why I even decided to uh, keep the door open for the possibility of me making videos for those channels albeit at a very whenever schedule. Um, I just can't th say thanks enough for that. However, there has been a contingent of negativity that's been going on on my channels for a while now. That's just been boiling over recently. And it's one of the major contributing factors to why I decided to kind of get out of making videos for those channels. And it's largely derived from some groups on Reddit giving me shit. And some other people as well elsewhere on the, uh, the interwebs. And, you know, I've been on the internet for a long time. You know, I, I've seen a lot of shit talked about me and stuff. And even though I'm nobody really all that special, you know, like my my channel, this channel in particular, hasn't even broken 2,000 subscribers. I've had it for over 15 years now. And, you know, I've seen a lot of hateful rhetoric coming my way. And, you know, the stuff that I've seen recently has just been from groups who think they know who I am and, you know, try to write a narrative about how much how I'm a just complete fucking screw up and all this, that, and the other. And they're trying to give me just unwarranted criticism, mostly about my weight, which it's my own fucking problem, really. Like, you don't have to fucking live in my meat suit. So, you know, worry about your own shit. 
mind your business. But I know that's not how the internet works. So you get some of these chuckleheads popping up in the comments from time to time. And you might be wondering, well, where are these comments? Where have they gone? And let's just say that I take really good care of my comment section because, you know, I want you guys to have a good user experience. You know, I don't want you to, you know, come into one of my videos and you just see a whole bunch of hateful comments and stuff out there but about a bunch of ignorant bullshit. You know, that's not something I want to to perpetuate in the world. And some people may think, well, you know, you gotta have a thick skin, man. You gotta have a thick skin to deal with, with shit online, right? You know, you can't be a, a, a sissy, you know? And I delete those comments not because I can't take it, but because I just don't want that in my comment section, you know? The audience who's actually there for me doesn't want that shit either. And it literally, it literally is shit. It's like saying, just, you know, walking in with your shoes on, being old Mr. Merkajin, and they're just covered in shit, and they're dragging shit all over the uh, the floor and onto the carpet and all this kinds of stuff. And I'm yelling, what are you doing dragging all this shit in my house? Like, oh, you can't take a bunch of shit in your house? Oh, you fucking bitch. Clean this shit up. Oh, you can. Don't be a bitch. Take all this shit in your house. It's the same shit. Literally. <laughs> I just wanted to say shit a little bit, so thanks for indulging me. But the statement rings true. You know, I just want to keep things nice and clean in the comment section so y'all don't have to deal with them fucking chuckleheads, and it's just on me. So I do my best to keep the uh, comment sections clean, but every once in a while they sneak in. And, you know, like I said, I've dealt with a lot of that stuff being as being online for as long as I have been. And, you know, every once in a while, a comment kind of sneaks in and, and gets me. You know, I've seen a lot recently talking about of, you know, a lot of different issues that I supposedly have and just, like I said, spinning this narrative about my life that, you know, they think is true or that fits their own narrative, you know, and they try to give me a bunch of Seemingly constructive criticism, but it's just in bad faith. So I can't take anything that they see say seriously, you know. Don't exactly want to get life advice from someone on a Reddit subreddit, you know. So <laughs> it's people who are successful in life aren't exactly browsing Reddit, you know, dispensing nuggets of wisdom. So... Yeah. And, you know, my videos have just been getting dislike bombed like crazy. This one's probably going to get dislike bombed, too, to be honest with you guys. So if you guys are wondering what that is, it's what it is. But it's just been really weighing on me for the past while now. And I had to to divest myself from those those places in order to get some semblance of sanity, really. You know, like I've just completely divested myself from, you know, those like Japanese themed uh, subreddits because it's mostly just a lot of salty gaijin, you know, living in deadbed marriages who, you know, are living very unsatisfying lives and they just want to take that shit out on everybody else. And I know that because, you know, I, I feel that that same pain, too. You know, like there's a lot of things in my own life that I'm not happy with, even though there's also a lot of things that I am happy with. So there's always that that feeling of getting pulled into that direction of just lashing out at everybody and, you know, just really going for the jugular, with that kind of shit. But I don't want to get caught up in that because it's fucking loser mentality. You know, I just want to deal with that shit. But it is a reality of being someone on the Internet. You know, you got to do with people just 
simply not liking who you are and the kind of stuff you make, and that's just the reality of it. Can't please everyone all the time. And if these so-called Japan experts just aren't that into my content, that's cool. Feel free to unsubscribe. There's plenty of other YouTubers out there other than me, man. It's ain't 2006 when there's only like 100 of them. Like, there's millions, tens of thousands of millions of channels out there you could be watching if you're not digging my stuff. But it is what it is, you know. Can't, you know, just is what it is. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Sorry, this video is uh, it's all over the place. I'm just, it's late. Well, late by my standards. And we're heading to bed soon. So I'm just kind of in a chillax mood. But I just wanted to come on here and, you know, just make a video to let you guys know what's going on. You know, I still do feel strongly about the Edit by Andy channel. And just the overall direction of everything, including the basic disillusion of the whole the Andy San theming. Um, it was really hard to say goodbye to to all that, especially since I've had that name for you know. If you really want to go back, I've had it since like 2004. I think it was one of the first documented usages of that name was on like a message board, and. You know, I've had it on YouTube since the beginning, 2006. And to say goodbye to something like that with, with that much legacy was, was definitely hard. But, you know, a lot can change from when you're just a 20-year-old kid freshly dropped out of college in the midst of a global recession, not knowing what the fuck to do with your life, to being in your mid-30s, going back to school, and I'm going to be graduating in uh, August of next year. So to finally see a dream that's taken you almost two decades at this point to complete, come to fruition, you know, definitely puts a lot of things in perspective. So, yep, still going to be focused on, on that, that branding, but... Like I said earlier, I do want to leave the door open for making content on this channel as well as the Andy Japandy channel. Just not on a regular basis. So, yeah, that's all I got to say for tonight. Other than thank you guys for uh, for all the support over the years. I know I wasn't the easiest guy to like. <laughs> I've had my moments for sure. But... Yeah, I just want to say thanks for everyone sticking with me. And for the haters, fuck you. Bye. All right. Good night, guys.